Alrighty, it's juggling part three time. I've set it up outside here. It's actually a little bit warm enough. And let's see if I can get this so you can see me all together. I'm a little farther away, so I'm wearing my earbuds here. So hopefully you can still hear me clearly. Uh, quick review, hopefully you've been practicing. I know all of you have been. No juggling balls starting off. If we want to learn to juggle here, just getting ourselves set up. Pretending, just getting ourselves in the action of doing one hand, then the other. When you try to throw one ball and you start juggling, hands always want to go together and you end up throwing both balls or you do some sort of rotating thing. After that, step two, over, over, over. Step three, over, second one, over, second one, over, second one, over, second one. Pretend you got another ball in there. Just keep on getting that beautiful arc. It's the time to be doing this. You got lots of time at home right now. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. After, you get step number three, step number four, two balls. Getting that nice X going across in front of you. Same throwing, back and forth, back and forth. And then just like step two, step two, step three. Where you're going, add that extra one in. Pretend it's there, don't put it in yet. Still only have two balls to focus on, but pretend you're throwing that third one. Done that. Number three. Putting it in. Getting it going. So, as usual with me, I did not practice any of these tricks beforehand here. But I'm going to try to show you the final version of this with how to do different tricks. And I can't remember how many I, I still have, but I'm going to give them all a try. And then you can give it a try if you get to that point. Trick number one, we saw last week, under the leg. I'm gonna see if I can do it again when you got the full shot here and see if you can get it. One of the keys to doing tricks is keeping your eye on the ball that you're going to use. I have one ball that still has the tags on it. So sometimes your mind gets mixed up when you're trying to look at the balls and see which one's going up and which one you're gonna use. So I always keep that something different about one ball so that you can focus on it and you know which one is going to be the one you use for the trick. So as it goes up, I plan for it and then throw it up when it comes over. So when it's going over, you know your hand's going to start going down and under your leg. So it's like you're catching it still, but it catches down and goes back up under your leg. Let's see if we can do it again. Oh, and it's close. Oh, a little out of control, but there it was down under the leg and if you can throwing it a little bit more higher in the air so you have time to focus and catch it again so balls coming down oh jump the gun on that one as it's coming down down under up so it's just like throwing except this time it's going under the leg under the leg oh oh that one got away Alrighty, number two, my favorite trick. It's been a little while since I've done it, but it's the one that I did in elementary school for the talent show, is the spinorama. Throwing a ball straight up in the air, you're doing the full turn, then you're catching and keep on juggling. I'm gonna use that one ball with the tag still on it. And I see the trick to this is you need to get used to high juggling because the one ball goes way up in the air and you gotta catch it again. So if you can get used to catching that ball that's come down, that is a good starting point before you do the spinorama. You wanna be able to throw that ball straight up in the air so it comes down in the same place. Not gonna lie, that wasn't even close. Okay, get it again here. Ready? So this one's going up. Oh. I'm not sure this one's happening. Give it another try. I'll give it two more tries here. The straight up throw. Oh, it did happen. It did happen. All right, one more. One more. Let's see if we can get it again. Oh, there it is. All righty. I'm actually rather surprised that happened. Uh, that's the spinorama. So another one you could try here and this really helps you get control of juggling, is the high juggle and the low juggle. So for the high juggle, stand back a little bit, 
Usually when you're juggling, they're coming up to right around your head height. When you're doing the high juggle, all you're doing is throwing them up a little higher and delaying in between. Up they go, delay your throw on the next one. So that one has time to come down. Now, a little bit tougher is the quick low juggle. And that's where your hands have to be moving fast and just keep on, keep it as low as you can and back and forth. That one's hard to do continuously. That's a low juggle. So you're just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Your hands are moving very quickly. When you're doing the high juggle, your hands are moving very slowly. It goes up higher and slow. All right, tough one here that I haven't done in a while is juggling with grabbing. Instead of catching down, you're grabbing the balls this way. And I haven't done this one in years and years, but I'm gonna give it a try. So when you're going up, then you start grabbing them down instead of doing it up. And if you're good at it, you should be able to do it for everyone coming down. So let's see if I can get it going. Practice with one for now. Other hand, oh, gotta get it under control again. It's hard to get your head under, around, switching to up in the air. Okay, I'm gonna try starting like this, see if it helps. <laughs> it didn't really. So, I'm not gonna keep on going with that one. I don't think it's gonna to get too much better. But if you wanna start practicing that one, just do a single hand down, grab, and try to keep on going with it. So if you just grab one down and flip it back up again. Now, really talented uh, if you can do two single hand juggles, but to start practicing it, you can do a single, uh, one single jungle here with two balls going around. And there's two ways to do this. You can do the Ferris wheel, so they're going around like this, or you can do the elevator, and they're going next to each other. Oh, they should be going next to each other like this. If you got some skills here, what you can do at the same time as doing the elevator is actually have one of the balls follow, going up and down with it. So, as you're doing it with one hand, you're gonna use the other ball here, and you're gonna follow one of the balls up and down as it goes. So it's been a long time since I've done this one too. We're getting the rhythm of it. Back and forth, back and forth. If you can do that one, it wasn't that neat, but uh, then you can hopefully get into doing two hands where you're doing uh, two balls in each hand. So you have four going at the same time. That wasn't it. That wasn't even close to it. I only have three here, but I don't even know if I ever got to that one. Let's see. Any other tricks I can remember here? Under the leg, spin around. I think that's all I've got in my repertoire. There's a whole bunch more. But before you start getting into tricks, the first one that you should be trying is the all the way up, big tall ones, getting them under control, and then the very low. Seeing how low you can go there. So those are all my tricks. If I learn any new ones, I will post a new video showing my new tricks. But for now, that is it. Hopefully your juggling is coming along so you can show everybody when you get back.